All right, check this out. We have six screens that were generated within one minute for a flow of an app that I instructed UX Pilot to generate. This is incredibly fast and it's a very powerful way in which you can go ahead and generate designs, whether they're wireframes like these or high fidelity mockups and import those into Figma so that you can then make fine tune adjustments as a designer. And then even at that point, you can export them for web using something like the Figma MCP server. I'm going to show you exactly how I set this workflow up using UX pilot. Okay. So to get started, create your account at UX pilot, and we're going to click on new file after you log in. So basically we're going to give it a page name, guitar performer, and I will go ahead and paste in this quick little prompt. And here's what it is. I uh, create a modern, beautiful UI dashboard for a service called Guitar Performer, which uses AI to help beginner guitarists to learn guitar. This dashboard should have a sidebar navigation with the following links, lessons, backing tracks, live events underneath position at the bottom of the sidebar should be an account settings and log out section. The main dashboard page should consist of a list of lessons listed out in card format. Each card should have a title, brief description, length of lesson, and whether or not they completed that lesson. And this should be a light color scheme that uses violet as a primary color. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit create here. And it's not gonna in in instantly generate the designs for you after this step. What it's gonna do is over here, it's gonna allow you to choose the mode. So if you wanna have a wireframe, which won't have all the colors and all that stuff, it'll just have a basic scaffolding based on what you described. Uh, you could choose wireframe, or if you want to have a high fidelity mock-up, something that's like ready to go, then you choose hi-fi. So I think it would make most sense to start with where most people would start with, like wireframe. And so after that, we also have the screen section right here, which we could choose desktop or mobile. I'm going to choose desktop. And we can also have for the prompt over here, single screen or create flow. So for single screen, it's just gonna give you a single UI based on the page that you're requesting. Now, when you click on create flow, it will create a series of screens for you based on your description. So I'm just gonna choose um, single screen here and I'm gonna paste in that same prompt and under advanced settings, we could see we also have standard model for best output quality and then also blitz model for instant design generation. This would be useful if you just really, really want to see a quick uh, you know, result and you're just kind of experimenting. You're in the very early phases. Uh, we're just going to leave on standard model for this and I'm going to go ahead and hit generate. Okay, and here we go. As you could see, it did a really good job. And again, this is just a wireframe, so it doesn't have like colors and all that good stuff. Um, and this would be great if, for instance, you were like, okay, I like this idea. Maybe we'll iterate on it further and have it generate more with a specific change. Or you could also take it into Figma and you could actually start working with it and adjusting it within Figma itself, which is really powerful. Now, I also want to show you what flow does in the context of wireframes as well. So what I'll do is over here when I come up, I'm going to choose create flow. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just paste in the same prompt. And we're going to see what it does automatically with the flow itself. So we can see right here, we have generate a flow of screens. So we're going to turn on auto flow as well. And what that's going to do is it's going to look at the context of this information you specified and think to itself, okay, well, what are the relevant pages that would be needed in order to create this type of experience? So right here, we can see we have a main uh, dashboard screen for displaying a list of lessons. Uh, in the card format, a page for exploring and selecting guitar lessons for with additional filtering options, detailed view of selected lesson, y you get it. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and choose generate. And now we see all these um, areas that are these UIs that are generating all the different screens. This is amazing because it can really help you quickly flesh out the ideas and the whole scope of an app in wireframe format. Okay, it is done now and literally only took like 65 seconds or something like that. So let's take a look at the lessons page. As we could see, it added um, the ability to search, um, skill levels, so there's like filtering. This is really nice. 
Um, over here, we actually have the lessons detail page. So if somebody clicks on the lessons, there's a UI for the video, um, the about section, metronome. Uh, <laughs> This is amazing. So not only will it help you, you know, come up and realize your ideas, it's gonna add ideas too that might make sense in the context of your app. This is really awesome for the purpose of brainstorming, you know, the early stages of a design and a project. We have a backing track section, uh, because I mentioned that. Um, we have a live event section, account settings. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is really amazing. So. When you click on any of these wireframes, you have this little menu that shows up right here. So we have uh, generate options. So if you wanna see a hi-fi, high fidelity version of this particular wireframe, we can do so. Um, let's actually do that with the main um, lesson page right here. Let's go ahead, click this, hit generate, and we'll choose hi-fi. So right here we see standard model. Uh, we're gonna keep that as the same. I'm gonna choose max, and this will add a little bit more um, in terms of the token cost, but you'll get a better output. So here is a prompt for this. Transform the provided wireframe code into a sophisticated and visually captivating high fidelity design while strictly preserving the wireframe structure layout and all existing elements. You're free to adjust this if you wish, um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it there and hit generate and we'll see what it comes up with for a high fidelity version of that particular wireframe. Okay, it is done. Here is the actual wireframe just for a reference. And here is the hi-fi version, the high fidelity version of the wireframe. All right, very nice. It, it adhered to the fact that I asked in Violet uh, for the primary color scheme. Um, but now, if you wanted to, you could take this back into Figma and make adjustments to it if you wish. Or we can go ahead and click generate and then click on variations and it'll allow it'll create just variations of the same concept but just alter the layout in different manners. So number of variations, if we leave on max, we have two or three. Let's do that and see what happens when we integrate variations. All right, so here are the variations. I'm gonna show you the first one it created. Um, this time it makes more sense because I like the thumbnails up here. That makes way more sense to me for listing out cards for lessons. I, this is really cool. Here's one that's kind of just in dark mode. Um, again, what's, what's, I, I definitely wouldn't use that font, but this definitely gives you a lot of just different looks, right? And different ideas that could spark, you know, your direction, both in terms of layout, but also in branding as well. So here, we'll check out the third one. I, but yeah, very, very cool. What we can do now, and I want, I want to show you, is we can, for instance, let's say we like this one the most. I personally like this one the most. Um, and we want to take it into Figma, right, to make some adjustments on our own. So all we have to do is click Save for Figma. And then we hop on over to Figma, create a new design file. All right, and then we go to Plugins and I'm going to click on UX Pilot. So if you never used that before, you just go to Manage Plugins right here and type in UX Pilot, and you will find it right here. So here it is, you'll see Design a Sleek Modern Dashboard, that's the one that we just chose, and it is automatically, very quickly, um, generating the layout, and now they're all in editable layers in which we can just dial in and start making adjustments as we wish. So really, we were just able to go within just a few minutes from a single wireframe mockup to a flow that consists of a bunch of different pages, all of the relevant pages that would be required to make most of this app work into a high fidelity design based on different ideas that are just automatically generated and then ultimately into Figma then where we can refine it. So definitely check out uxpilot.ai, the sponsor of this video. This is an awesome tool that I'm going to start using for my own future projects because really it just knocks out a lot of that thinking process, that manual thinking process at the beginning of a project. So as always, make sure to subscribe up and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.